Hello everyone and welcome to today's No FOMO Charts Crypto and Stocks TA Charts video. Today's Sunday, August 18, 2024, just about 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am No FOMO Charts. I'm on YouTube, X, and Trading View. This is a swing trading, position trading, and investing charts video and YouTube channel. Welcome everybody. I have an announcement due to changes in my personal work schedule for the remainder of this year, 2024, I will be making shorter videos on this YouTube channel, so as short as possible. Let's get started. Crypto charts, T-O-T-A-L, market cap. We've been range bound in this descending channel, which could be a large consolidation long term. We bounced off of 1.8 trillion, establishing a higher low inside of the channel. If this is a consolidation flag, we might be able to break out of there and hit this 2.2 trillion target on the upside. Our support is 1.9 trillion on the downside. Now I can also draw a parallel channel to see the middle heart line. This is our target right here. Also the 200 EMA, 2.1 trillion exactly. So those are my targets for resistance and support. It's just a matter of can the market push up higher. Now on the weekly, last week we had a doji candle. Two weeks before that we had a hammer candle. We might get psychological continuation of the morning star because this is a correlation with the stock market. Now in terms of the four hour chart, we're still in the death cross. However, it's starting to look like a symmetrical triangle to me. So I'm very closely watching if we're going to break above 2.1 or crash down below 2.0 trillion. For Bitcoin, it's very similar analysis. We zoom out. We're in this downtrending consolidation channel. We bounced off of 50,000. Let's get my EMAs. So we pierced basically the 300 EMA to 400 EMA region. We're stuck below the 200 EMA right now in this downtrending little flag area. So if we can get another higher high, that would take us to about $64,000 Bitcoin. We need to hold above the support level of 54,000. So on the weekly chart, I am seeing a little bit of a hammer candle and a doji candle. On the four hour chart, we are below the 200 EMA inside of a symmetrical triangle again. So very similar analysis two times now, 61,000 on the top side. If this ever pierces down to about 57, that could be a, a dip buying opportunity. I know we are downtrending, but um, that's our intermediate levels of support just going sideways as such. That's what we need to see. Ethereum is slightly different because on the daily compared to Bitcoin, we have a death cross already on Ethereum. So it happened uh, August 13, a couple of days ago. Now, we are stuck below the 12 EMA, which is about $2,600, basically. $2,650, $2,700, I should say. The death cross happened here. And this could be a psychological head and shoulders, just in case it turns bearish. We'll look at that. It's about 6% to 8%. Let's just call it 7% target. 2370 is my downside target for Ethereum if we crash out of this rising wage pattern. If we happen to bounce, we're probably probably likely going up to 3,000 to test the 200 EMA again. The 200 on the weekly was our support. Let's see if we can get this week starting off with a bit of a morning star candle pattern. If we can get bullish continuation, the four hour is bouncing off support. We cannot fall below $2,500 Ethereum. That's the line in the sand before we have more dumping selling in the market upside target for sweet trading 28 to 2900 let's finish off with solana on the crypto now we can see we're in a larger longer term consolidation pattern going sideways for almost this entire year 120 dollars to 125 dollars is our solana level of support in this blue line we bounced up we held the higher low above 137, see if we can get a higher high, which could almost turn into a W type of pattern. We've seen this happen before in June, July. Just need to give it a little bit of time to establish the support on 139 and go higher. We could probably even test 180 again, if not 160 USD. So I'm looking at that right now. On the weekly, waiting for this to make some kind of move for as an investor, but on a swing trader, we can see we're stuck inside the symmetrical triangle. 
which if this is real, could be a conservative target about 10% plus or minus. So it could be 160 bullish, bearish is 130. Thank you everyone for watching the crypto section. If you liked or learned this video, something from this video, go ahead, click the like button, leave a nice comment or click subscribe. Thank you. Moving on to stocks. Hello everyone, welcome to, to the stock section, August 18, 2024, Sunday. Earnings releases this week, we got ST Louder, Lowe's, Target, Macy's, TJ Maxx, Zoom Video, Advanced Auto Parts, Peloton, Intuit, Ross, and more companies. We have economic data such as FOMC meeting minutes, unemployment claims, manufacturing PMI, services PMI, Fed Chair Powell speech, and the Jackson Hole Symposium this weekend. Let's go to SPY. SPY. We had a nice V-shaped recovery bouncing off of that 50 Fibonacci level zone, which was approximately 515 to 511. We got very oversold on a four hour. We broke above multiple trend lines that I drew, held above the 12 EMA support, and we gapped up all the way to 555, gapped up above the pivot point. We must hold this support. We have a gap in the market right now, 548 to 543, immediate support. The next level up target over time could be 563. And then once we get above this Bollinger Band in the 574 range, we probably get a pullback. This is a big, large rally. It's reminding me of a more aggressive, a more aggressive May 2024 type of move where we had a pullback. We held a level. It didn't, it's not quite like September, October 2023 because we faded below, we crashed below the 200 EMA. We bounced above the 200 EMA. So it's still bull market. It's still bullish right now. Now, in terms of the four hour, because it golden crossed up, I don't know if you can see this well, but it golden crossed up there. You can see the, the little plus mark on the yellow. 50 EMA above the 200 EMA on a four hour, that means we have golden cross. So we could pull back to retest that support level over time if any data is bad. So 541 is that support level. We have to establish some kind of safe support level to have nice moves in the market that sustains itself. So those are the levels I'm watching out for. QQQ, bit of a morning star pattern on this area. Let's go back to QQQ, morning star pattern. And I like to see that bounce off the 50 EMA or 420 level, 421. And the target to the upside is 507. I do like this. It's a little late. If somebody's trying to buy this right now, it's late because the, um, the if trying to buy the bottom crash. But if we're thinking long term, this could be like November 2023, the exact same thing happened. Same thing like April 2024. If this sustains itself, we have we passed earnings season. So next earnings season is coming up. Now it's all about the September rate cut, which is about one month from now. So if that, we're not going to crash if, it, if we don't crash, then we're probably going to keep rallying into the meeting. It's good. Sometimes. Lose my indicators. So the four hours still on QQQ. Four hour is above the 200 EMA and holding that support level. So the media support level is about 465 on QQQ. See if that bounces up. Try to hit the next level of resistance of 492. Let's go to Dow Jones. Now, Dow Jones, let me erase everything here. Dow Jones, we pierced down. I had a great short. I shorted this entire range. It's perfect. Now we bounce back up. In terms of how is, can we foresee that? We'll just draw a level of support and a resistance line. And now we understand we're just stuck between this level, a rising wage pattern. So I'm expecting maybe we could see some poking out of the price. So it pokes out of that Bollinger Band. It might not get this high. 415 is that outside range. But uh, if we continue to rally, it's good. If we don't, however, because the weekly has a Morningstar pattern, long term, if we don't rally, then $400 to 396 is that level of support on the downside in terms of high, low, high, low, high, low, and then try to bounce off of that level. Okay, next, IWM. Also had a wonderful short. It's one of my most perfect shorts of the year. Shorted from this candle all the way down to here. It was great because I had a trailing stop loss. It's perfect. Now we bounce off that 200 EMA. Beautiful bounce. Same thing. We're still bullish. You can see the golden cross is still intact on IWM on the daily. 
I could draw a trend line like this, almost like a broadening wedge, I like to call it. High low, high is a higher low, just barely. So then if we can retest the higher high over time, would be great. Pivot points. That's our target. 217 is the pivot point that all the algorithms are trying to target. We're, we might not get over this Bollinger Band in the short term. It's 231. That's very high. Weekly chart. I do like this morning star pattern bouncing off support. That's good in the long term. And we broke above the 200 EMA on the four hour. Also good for swing traders. So we're stuck in this channel for now. You can see we have a we have a little bit of a hole here on the support level. So we could try to retest that down 209 unless we have good earnings. All right, that's going to do it for the video this week. Again, as the announcement, uh, due to changes my personal work schedule, I need to do very, very short videos for the remainder of 2024. Thank you, everybody, for watching and subscribing. And I hope you liked or learned something from this video. You got something of value. And happy trading, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.